Hi, I'm Peter Capaldi. I play the Doctor, and you're watching EMS Productions. Hello, everyone, and welcome along to this very special Doctor Who video. Today, it's finally the day. It's the companion reveal, and well, it's about 20 minutes away from my point of view. You can see up here at the top of your screen there is 18, 17 minutes of the half left. So, in around 17 minutes time. The Doctor Who Companion is going to be revealed, finally, after four, four or five months of waiting and people moaning about the fact that we don't have a companion. Everybody thinks it's going to be Raki Thakra or whatever her name is, I can't pronounce it, or whatever. We'll find out in a very short amount of time. And well, there's not much more to say, I'll just kick another video. Hope you like my new poster up here. Lovely new Doctor Who poster. Looks pretty fantastic. And so I'll be bringing you my life reaction and thoughts in, well, about 15 minutes. See you then. Hello everyone, I'm back. It's 30 odd seconds till the end of the first half of this football match. I actually like football, so it's not, oh crap. It's not such a problem for me to have to sit through this. But we just, yeah, 15 seconds. Obviously you all know by now, so there's not really much point debating. And let's just mute this for a sec. Not much point debating actually who it's going to be, because you already know. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we get a, like, Minnesota kind of style, because as well, all the promotional stuff's kind of suggested it'll be something like that. But who knows whether we'll actually get that. Oh, one minute of added time, so there we go. One minute to wait. And yeah, I'll be, I'll probably be on Twitter as well. Um, the Twitter here. So, you'll be able to read the tweets that I haven't even thought of yet. You probably already know what I'm going to say. So apologies if I look away from the camera quite a lot, because obviously I'll be watching the TV and reading Twitter for... A lot of this video, so ho hopefully I still keep it interesting. But it's been been a long wait, hasn't it? I mean, six months since Hellbent. I don't think there's any been this much hype around anything Doctor Who related since Hellbent and that whole Gallifrey's Back week and all that kind of thing. Because the Moffat stuff in January, of course, was a lot of discussion, but not really any excitement. It was all just, oh, what's going to happen? This is what's going to in the future. Let's talk about it. So it's just about time. I'll open by the whistle, Mr. Referee. Come along. There we go. There's the whistle. It's half time. So it's about to, it's about to happen, guys. It's about to happen. Twitter is exploding with as many tweets as I can. I can't even refresh the tweets quick enough at the moment. Right. Yeah. Shut up, Mr. Guy Mowbray. Match of the day commentator. Yeah, I know stuff about footballs. Which I'm sure disappoints a lot of you, because <laughs> I know a lot of people. Oh, it's on! It's on the middle of some football. This is terrible. Oh dear. Oh, they seriously. We're going to get the pundits chatting first. Wow. We're actually getting the pundits chat first. Yeah, shut up, um, thingy, Alan Shearer. Just please stop talking now. I thought they were going to do this at the start of the half time, not let them all analyse the game and then do it. It's just trolling. Wow, they're actually asking all three of them. Okay, well, let's just keep waiting because we've got people talking on the TV at the moment as we wait. Apologies for shaky camera and just everything in general that's poor about this. So I'm just holding it in my hand so, and scrolling Twitter with the other. So yeah, it's not the most interactive video so far. But... Nope, still talking. Shut up Gary Lineker. We don't need to hear any more from you. Yeah, this is, this is exciting. Upside down for you. <laughs> United Dear me. Everybody's shaking on Twitter apparently. Oh yeah, they're actually going to show us analysis of the goal. Wow. This is brilliant, isn't it? This is exciting. We get to discuss football in a Doctor Who video. This is, this is the best, isn't it? They said 6 o'clock. It's 6.03. Good job, guys. Just and waiting and waiting. Yeah, wow, he scored a goal, it's amazing. Please don't sue me, BBC, for showing your... There you go, you can watch a goal, because clearly your sandwich is in football. Because... Oh no, we're not actually going to see the goal. Okay, whatever. 
Um, yeah, I'm struggling to fill time right here. Okay, let's let's, let's talk around of Doctor Who stuff. Um, I'm going to be watching the Reboss Operation after this because I feel like watching the key to time arc again. I've only ever watched it once and that was like three years ago, so I thought might as well watch it again. So I'm going to do that after this. Very random episode, but that's what I'm going to do. And still filling time. Um, one thing I love convenience is that I have a former companion Clara Oswald, of course, watching on as they reveal the new companion, or reveal Gallic Gary Limica, as the case may be. As we continue to wait and wait and wait, and we're going to get more analysis. Isn't this fantastic? This is making such a great video, isn't it? Oh my days. Um, people are exploding on Twitter with moans of. Yeah, come on. Still showing us the same replays. <laughs> Lots of rage at the Match of the Day people on Twitter, pundits. Still waiting. Apologies for the lack of anything interesting here. Hopefully I won't have to talk for the whole of the 15 minutes of half-time. The Doctor Twitter aren't releasing it early because I thought they might do that, but no. Yep, they're still just discussing football. Well, I'll probably cut bits out of this because there's just nothing happening, is there? Or I'll just keep filling time. Um, yeah, more football. Still very exciting, isn't it? Once this is video, once we do actually find the announcement and everything, do let me know what your thoughts are about the companion. Well, if it's if it's Racky Thackeray, you probably already had three months to decide on some thoughts. But if not, let me know what you think about the new companion. I mean, it's a pretty big part of Doctor Who, so and I'm sure everybody's got an opinion about something like that. I'm I'm, I'm fairly optimistic, whoever it is. Really, I haven't got any preference. But I'm not a great person for actors outside of Doctor Who, frankly. I don't watch that much TV or film outside of Doctor Who, so if they haven't been in Doctor Who, then I don't really know them. So all the like contenders and stuff, I've never really heard of. So I'm not at that fast. I'm just interested in the way they do it with a nice, hopefully, Minnesota and trailer thing. But we'll have to wait and see. Still talking about football. Apologies if you've got a lot of Gary Lineker and Co. talking in the background. I should probably put the volume down a bit more. Um, hopefully I'm not getting over it. And everybody's still raging on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter rage, rage, rage. People. Clearly they're just sort of trolling by now. Purposely kind of trying to annoy us and build up the excitement. It'd be nice if hashtag new companion can start trending. Or anything Doctor related. It isn't at the moment. It might have been seen, when you watch this you might have seen it trending. Who knows. But yeah, Twitter's kind of... Like, I'm sure this will be a pre-recorded thing. Like, there's some people saying, "Oh, it'll be live. They'll unveil them live on the screen and stuff." It won't be. It'll be pre-recorded. I'm sure of that. That's, but I think it'll be more than just photos in your standard. Oh, I love Doctor Who, even though I've never watched it. Interviews and oh, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. All this kind of stuff. That generic things they say that don't really tell us anything. Or where you found, where you were when you found it, you got the part. I don't think it'll be one of those interviews. I'll probably release that online. But I think this will actually be something more interesting, which will be good. As we keep on waiting, and waiting, and this video is becoming less and less exciting by the minute, as all of Twitter are just yelling and someone's running into the bar, or the post even, on the TV. We're going to have any Gary Lineker Doctor Who puns. He's got, he's got, all, the t he's got all the time and space on the ball. Any of these terrible footballing puns. At least there's a more interesting reveal than most previous ones, which is usually just some promo photos or a Doctor Who magazine cover. This is hopefully going to be a bit more than that. I mean, we don't think we've had, don't think we've had an on-screen like TV reveal in forever. So that's quite good. But it's probably mainly because there's no series this year, so they kind of need to. Oh no! Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Hold on, I'll talk to you in a sec. No, please don't show us. Don't give us a VT. Oh, we've got a we've got a VT about football. I thought that this was going to happen. I thought it was Doctor Who, and a hundred percent of Doctor Who fans don't care about football, according to at Stats Britain, which is pretty. Oh, 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 apparently, the new companion is trending. I'm not on my phone. 
Someone else has got it trending. Oh well, whatever. Um, where was I? Um, well, yeah, this is this certainly seems to be going a bit more all out on this reveal, which could suggest it's someone more famous because reading a match of the day is more general audience. So if you pick someone that no one's ever heard of, why would you reveal that on match of the day? It seems like strange. So hopefully, it might be someone more interesting than someone you've never heard of, but who really knows? Still just showing off my posters in the background. Gotta love that. Um, that's such a great poster. Really filling time now. Becoming every minute. This is becoming a worse and worse video. Full of people moaning on Twitter about how terrible any football discussion is. Basically, I start recording this at 5:59, in the expectation that it would be happening in within the next couple of seconds, and it's now 6:09, and we're still waiting. And half the half time should finish at about 6:15. So, yeah, this is going well. Oh, I might as well plug my follow me on Twitter. I'll give myself a nice plug for Twitter at emsdw44. Lots of tweets. There's um, there is all it. There's my accounts. You can see there my bio and stuff. Because clearly there's nothing more interesting than that. I don't tweet as much as a lot of people do, but I do quite tweet quite a bit. I mean, lots of people tweet like 50,000 times. I don't. Oh, that VT's finished. Right, are we gonna get something now? Are we gonna? Come on. No, Matt, yeah, you're advertising football programs. Come on. People feeling ill on Twitter. Enjoying this so much. <laughs> um, still waiting, still advertising football. Surely it's going to be now. If it's not now, I give up. Oh dear, zooming in the camera accident again. I've just done that a few times. And there's something else coming up. Here we go. Not too distant future. Not too distant future. Oh, into the doll. Oh no, it's actually it's a Minnesota. Who is it? Oh, it's 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 yeah, it's her. Okay, what's her name? What's that thing? A Dalek. What? Yeah. What's a Dalek? It's her. It's a Dalek. They actually recorded in Minnesota. It's hang on, I'll get her name. Um, can't actually remember what her name is. Saying a doll looks too fat, nice. Different. Interesting. Yeah, Pearl Mackey, there you go, that's the name. She was in stuff. I don't know what she was in, frankly. It's not Racky, that's surprising. Oh, the accent. She's certainly different to Clara. Well done. Quicker to just say kill. Do we really want them to save time? Oh, well, she's certainly good point. No nonsense. I need to get back. Back where? To the future. 2017 needs us. 2017 needs us. Wow. Ha ha. Bit of a good man. And it's going to end introducing Pearl Mackey as Bill. Bill? Bill? Sorry, what? She's called Bill. Well, the Doctor's not the uh, only person with a new companion because Dan Walker is pitch side and he's with Lee Martin. He scored the winning goal, of course, in the night. She's called Bill. Are you serious? Sorry? Okay, then. She's called Bill. Well... That's about the most shocking thing out of that. A few nice lines there and everything. But that is the most random name I've ever seen. I'll have to watch that clip again and then I'll have more of an opinion on it. So I might come back in like five minutes and give you my thoughts again once I've actually watched it again properly. Rather than sort of this bizarre state of what is going on kind of thing. It's going on right now. Slightly weird. Um, 
Okay, well we actually got on the side, which is what I was hoping for, and well yeah, I'll be back in like a minute and let you know what I thought. Well I'm back, I've watched the clip again, and well I don't know, I don't know really. She seems quite, She seems, she's definitely not like Clara, she's definitely a lot different to Clara. And so that's, it's a nice change, I'll have to see how it actually pans out. It is nice to see they've gone for someone different, they haven't gone for someone who's just yet another sort of white early 20s girl, which is what they usually end up with in New Who. But we've gone slightly different from that time with Pearl Mackey playing Bill, which I think is a slightly strange name. But there you go. And well, she did seem to have some quite good chemistry with Peter Capaldi in that two minute clip that we got, which apparently is from a future episode, I'm not convinced. But I feel somewhere I saw them say it was, some official thing said it was a future episode, so that's interesting. And I don't agree with all the silly comments of people saying, oh, we've finally seen Peter Capaldi acting properly now because he's not restricted by having Clara there. Which I just, it's, because we have a new companion it seems you can now just destroy Clara, which I don't think is right. So hopefully you guys won't be doing that. Yes, you can prefer her to Clara, that's fine, but don't say that, suddenly say that Clara is completely the worst companion ever. And now Peter Capaldi is so much better. Like someone said, they're like this two-minute clip with Peter Capaldi was the best Peter Capaldi's been in the Doctor so far, and I thought that's because she's not restricted by Clara, which was just stupid, frankly. So there you go. Sorry for my slightly ranty dial, um, but no, I'm fairly positive about it. It's disappointing. Obviously, we've got to wait another eight months, near enough, till Christmas when the next episode is. So that's not great. But we got this, and we'll have filming news and stuff fairly soon. Um, I don't really know what else to say, frankly. I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, I think it's fair to say. I don't know for sure. I think she's maybe more like Rose, possibly, Series 1 Rose, sort of a little bit more... Well, she's certainly more... less of a sort of posh English accent that sort of Clara had to some degree. Obviously she had the Blackpool accent, but... Yeah, Pearl Mackey as Bill seemed to be have a, a very different sort of accent and she looked different. She's a very different character, which I think is good. It's nice to have a change in Doctor Who rather than just trying to replace one companion with one that's like the same. So that's good. Who knows whether she'll be around for one or two or three series. Depends what Chris Chibnall really wants to do with it once Moffat's gone. So I don't really know about that at the moment. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty positive. We'll just have to see how it goes, I think. Well, obviously, it's a long way to wait. But that's just how it is this year with Doctor Who, I'm afraid. So well, that's, that's pretty much it. Fairly brief in the end of actual thoughts, so apologies. Hopefully this video has been somewhat interesting. I mean, it was kind of 10 minutes of me moaning at football. Maybe you'll enjoy that, I don't know. I'll probably keep most of it in just for the fun of it. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you thought, what you think of the new companion, what you thought of that little clip. Anything you like about the new companion. I've seen very, loads of positivity, so clearly everybody's happy. Even if they're all berating Clara now, which I think is a bit harsh disappointing but it's all positive so let me know what you thought i've been in it ems productions like the video subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you again very soon for another doctor who video goodbye